All right, so in this problem, I have a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to eight. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by replacing eight with two to the power of three. So now I have two to the power of three to the power of x plus two to the power of three to the power of x plus two to the power of three to the power of x plus two to the power of three to the power of x is equal to two to the power of three. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So two to the power of three to the power of x, that's the same thing as two to the power of x to the power of three so now I have 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So now I have 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now if I factor out 2 to the power of 3x, I get 2 to the power of 3x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 3, which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x times 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared. And I can divide both sides by 2 squared. So then these two cancel out. So now I have 2 to the power of 3x three, three is equal to 2 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 2 that's equal to 2 to the power of 3 minus 2, which is equal to 2 to the power of 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 3x is equal to 1. And if I divide both sides by 3, I get x is equal to 1 3rd. All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 4 to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 4. So to start, I'm going to rewrite this as x minus 4 squared to the power of 2 is equal to x squared to the power of 2. And now I'm going to subtract both sides by x squared to the power of 2. So then these two cancel out. And now I have x minus 4 squared to the power of 2 minus x squared to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this is equal to x minus 4 squared plus x squared times x minus 4 squared minus x squared is equal to 0. Now, if I expand this, I get x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus x squared times x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus x squared is equal to 0. So this gives me 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 times, these two cancel out, negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So now we have two equations. We have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0, and we have negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So for negative 8x plus 16 equals 0, I'm going to add 8x on both sides. These two cancel out. So I get 8x equals 16. And now if I divide both sides by 8, I get x is equal to 2.
Now for 2x squared minus ax plus 16, I can factor out 2. So I get x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. And now this is the same thing as negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is 8. So I get, I get x equals negative of negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now this is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared, which is 16, minus 32 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 over 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus 4i over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. So, I obviously want to find the value of x here. So, for my solution, I'm going to first start by writing 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. And I'm going to take the log of base 2 on both sides. So now I have log base 2 of 2 to the power of x is equal to log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form log base a of a, this is simply equal to 1. So as you see here, we have log base 2 of 2. And actually before I cancel these two out, if I have something in the form log base a of to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have x as my exponent, so I can move this to the front. So now I have x times log base 2 of 2 is equal to, I'm going to do the same thing over here, log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. I can move x to the front here. So now I have this is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now remember, if I have something to form log base a of a, this is equal to 1. So log base 2 of 2 is to cancel out, so I get simply left with x times 1 is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. And x times 1 is simply x, so I get x is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now, I'm going to subtract both sides by x base log, sorry, x log base 2 of 3. So when these two cancel out, I get x minus x times log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out x, I get x times 1 minus log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. And if I divide both sides by 1 minus log base 2 of 3, these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 0.